Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Hyperliquid airdrop, how to qualify for it, and how much that airdrop might actually be worth. So if you're not familiar with Hyperliquid, it is a perpetual futures dex that exists on its own layer one, but you can bridge to it from Arbitrum. In terms of perpetual futures dexes, I think it's one of the best out there as the books are quite thick and they have a ton of markets that you can actually go ahead and trade. I think over 90 at this point. So Hyperliquid have openly advertised that they will be doing an airdrop and they've introduced a point system for traders. So you can earn Hyperliquid points by simply using Hyperliquid. So 1 million points will be distributed weekly to users for six months starting November 1st and points are meant to reward Hyperliquid users who contribute to the protocol's success and the points criteria will be updated on a recurring basis. So how much might the Hyperliquid airdrop actually be worth? So Sean Devins has posted an excellent thread on Twitter here. I'll leave it a link in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. But basically, he's just compared Hyperliquid to other Perpetual Futures DEXs and trying to figure out how much Hyperliquid might actually be worth in totality and how much each point might be worth as well. But I'll scroll down this thread to where it says value per point. So Sean Devins has done a few calculations and they've given their estimation of how much each point might actually be worth. So if 10% of the Hyperliquid tokens are distributed to the community through an airdrop, each point might be worth $4. If 20% is distributed, $8, 30%, $12, and 40% of the tokens being distributed through an airdrop, each point might be worth $16. Now Hyperliquid really is a community driven perpetual futures decks as I believe they haven't raised any money from any outside investors. So I'm inclined to believe that the airdrop amount percentage that is distributed to the community will be higher than say other perpetual futures decks out there. So in terms of points, I've already accumulated 125, which puts me in the top 5,000 for people with points, and that puts me in the gold league. So in terms of the total amount of Hyperliquid users, there is 40,782, and I'm currently in the top 5,000. So just to put this into perspective for you, I've put through less than $150,000 worth of volume through Hyperliquid. So if you put through that much, it's likely that you'll get as many points as I do, and that will probably place you in the top 5,000. So here's how to get started with Hyperliquid. So first of all, you will need to get a MetaMask wallet and set that up. If you already have MetaMask, you can skip this part. So head over to metamask.io and click download and add the MetaMask extension. Once you've done that, agree to the terms and conditions and hit create a new wallet. Create a password for your MetaMask and make sure to write this down somewhere. You'll then get a secret recovery phrase. Make sure to write this down somewhere and show nobody. Once you have successfully created your wallet, it should look something like this, except it should be empty. Now we need to add the Arbitrum network to our MetaMask wallet. You can do this by going to chainlist.org. Find Arbitrum 1, then press add to MetaMask. Press approve and it should take you to your new MetaMask page where it says Arbitrum in the top left corner. Now there is two different ways you can proceed from here. Depending on the centralized exchange that you are using, you may be able to do Arbitrum withdrawal rules. If you can, withdraw like $50 worth of ETH and however much USDC you want to use for trading perpetual futures. If you're like me and your exchange doesn't support Arbitrum withdrawal rules, we have to go the long way. So withdraw $100 worth of ETH and however much USDC you want to use for perpetual futures trading to your MetaMask wallet. You can find your MetaMask wallet address here. Go to the withdrawals tab of your centralized exchange, input your MetaMask wallet address and choose how much you want to withdraw and then press withdraw. After a while, the token should appear in your account. The next step is to bridge the ETH and USDC to Arbitrum. To do this, you need to go to jumper.exchange. Connect your wallet, then under where it says from, select Ethereum and ETH. Under where it says to, select Arbitrum and ETH. Then select a quantity of ETH that you want to bridge over. It doesn't need to be a lot because Arbitrum is inexpensive. Once you've chosen a quantity, you'll be given a number of choices for a bridge to use. I've chosen the recommended bridge because it's the cheapest and the quickest out of the ones listed. 
Once you do this, you will then need to repeat the process with USDC, bridging that over to Arbitrum as well. So once we have our ETH and USDC bridged over to Arbitrum, we just need to head over to Hyperliquid now. I have a link in the description that will give you 4% off on fees. Then navigate your way down to the deposit button. Choose the amount of USDC that you want to deposit. So for this video, I'll just do 1000 USDC. Press deposit. And then I'll need to sign this transaction. Uh, it'll only cost me 15 cents in order to do so. Press confirm. It says deposit pending. So we can see here that my balance is $1,629. And then it went all the way up to $2,629. So I'll just show off a couple of trades here on Hyperliquid just quickly. Uh, let's just say I wanted to trade Ethereum. I would just type that in up here. And then I'll just do a market long of $1,000 for you guys. So just type that in place an order and there we go it's actually quite quick my position has shown up here and if I want to close this obviously I can just go on to sell um, reduce only and then sell out of this position as well additionally you can close by uh, using the orders down here but there we go so there are a few different ways that you can actually go ahead and earn points so obviously you can do trades on hyperliquid but if we go over to here where it says vaults you can deposit into various different hyperliquid vaults and earn points that way as well so we have here the hyper liquidity provider HLP vault. So that's one of the vaults that is set up by Hyperliquid. So as you can see here, the past month return has been 150%, which is pretty cool. And you can take a look at the account value and PL over time. And as you can see here, the PL for this HLP vault has been basically up only since the start of Hyperliquid. So this is a community owned vault that provides liquidity to Hyperliquid through multiple market making strategies. It performs liquidations and accrues platform fees. And so you can deposit into this vault, you can make money and you can earn points as well. Now here's one thing that you definitely shouldn't do and that's wash trade. Now what I mean by wash trading is just opening up a position and then closing it instantly. So this is what it would look like, right? So let me just open up, um, you know, a $500 sole position. And then just close it immediately. If you're doing that, it will probably count as wash trading. And I don't think the team behind Hyperliquid will like you doing that and they probably won't give you any points for doing that. So if that's all you're doing in your account, you probably won't get any points at all. So that was it for this video, just a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, there is a link in the description down below that will give you 4% off on fees when trading on Hyperliquid. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.